European Union farm ministers have been updated on progress in negotiations between the EU's three main institutions on the thorny issue of reforming the Common Agricultural Policy, or CAP. At their meeting in Luxembourg, the ministers were briefed by the EU's Irish Presidency about the results of the first six trilogue meetings between the Council of Ministers, the European Parliament and the European Commission. Ireland hopes that the institutions can reach a comprehensive agreement by the end of June. Um, and uh, The progress, I think, is good. Uh, the, uh, there's a real willingness to, to, uh, to discuss um, compromises and landing points, if you want to call them that, um, uh, of uh, final conclusions. Uh, but there will be points of difference, of course, uh, and we will need in next month's Council meeting and, of course, the Council meeting in June to work with the Commissioner and work with the European Parliament to try and find uh, common agreement. The talks are focused on the rules governing direct payments to farmers, the organisation of markets in agricultural products, rural development support and the way the cap is financed, managed and monitored. The cap helps guarantee good living standards for farmers and stable food supplies at fair prices for consumers. It also fosters rural development and protects the environment. The Commission also presented its plan to the Ministers on transitional measures for next year, as the cap reforms cannot be implemented before 2015. Details of the plan will be taken forward by working groups and it's hoped they can be finalised in autumn. In fisheries talks, the Ministers welcomed the plan by the European Commission to reduce accidental catches of seabirds in fishing gear, with the Presidency noting that more can be done without major costs. These incidents, many involving the use of long line and static nets, are threatening some bird populations. More broadly, the presidency hopes to speed up work on fisheries reform, saying that agreement is close on most of the big changes, following debate on the package between the Council, Commission and Parliament. It would also like to adjust its negotiating mandate at the next Fisheries Council in May.